Hello there, today I want to teach you something on how to record your microphone and your desktop sound separately in OBS. So let's say you're playing a game or something and I have this as my game sound in the background over here playing and now it might be massively loud and you can't hear anything. You can't hear anything that I'm saying. So essentially what you can actually do is separate these layers entirely so that your sound from the game isn't recorded the same time your microphone is recorded so that you can record them on separate tracks and edit them separately in the editing process. So I'm going to turn the music off there because it's kind of annoying and we don't need it right now. So in OBS, the settings that you're going to need to do is we're going to go straight up to the actual settings, just straight to the settings here. We're going to go to output. You're going to make sure it's on advanced output editing mode over here. So make sure it's on advanced. Go to recording and on recording, you want to make sure you have track one and two enabled. So audio track one and audio track two should be enabled. For me, it's grayed out because I'm busy recording as we're speaking. So I am unable to change it right now or any of the settings because I'm already recording. But you should be able to change these at free will. So once you have track one and track two enabled, essentially OBS will record a video file that has two audio tracks. And now you have to control what goes onto each of those audio tracks. By default, most of your audio will be recorded onto each of them. So each audio track would usually have your microphone and your game audio at the same time time and you can't like separate them. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tell it to record certain audio tracks or certain audio onto certain tracks. So by going to this button over here, this little cog or right clicking here, just going to the advanced audio properties in your audio mixer on OBS, this will open up your advanced audio properties with all the audio devices or audio things that you have linked in your OBS. For me, I obviously have my desktop audio and I have my microphone. So desktop audio is any sound that plays from the computer itself. So anything that I hear from the speakers or the headset, from games, from music like over there, or the microphone here is only everything that is going into the microphone. So essentially when I'm speaking into the microphone, the microphone is recording just that. So the microphone is only recording what is played into the microphone, as you should understand how a microphone works. So what you're going to do here is pick a track specifically for one of the things. So my desktop audio, I leave to track one, but I don't want it to record on track two because track two is only for the microphone. If I select track two here, it's going to play along with the microphone. So the microphone track is going to have the desktop audio sound playing in the same track and you can't remove them. When I have it like this, the microphone won't play in track one because it's not selected. The Only the desktop audio will play in track one, whereas in track two, only the microphone sound will play. So that is what you want there. That's how you're going to have it selected. Only one selected in each number so that you can have them in its own track. And obviously in the settings, in your output here, it will show you which ones are be recording, one and two. So desktop audio and microphone. So I just saved that recording that I just made just a second ago, and I'm going to drag that back in here into Adobe Premiere Pro. Now you'll see here, there is three different lines of stuff here. So we have our visual one, which is the video that we recorded, which is obviously my screen. And we have two audio layers or tracks, as you can call them here. So you can see the bottom one over here, if I go unselect, unlink this one here. So the bottom one here is just my microphone. That is everything that I was saying. And everything in this track over here is everything that the computer made in two sound. So that was like the music, for example. So if I play this here for a second, just to give you an idea, all my volumes here are set to normal. So I can show you how this plays. This was how it was recorded and probably how you heard it the first time. Sound in the background over here playing and now it might be massively loud. All right. So now essentially what I can do here is I can actually remove my 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 microphone, for example, maybe I was saying something stupid and I was like, I really wanted the, just the game sounds there. I want the clip without me speaking because I was saying something stupid or something that didn't go with it. And I want the nice fresh clip. So I can delete my microphone from there and I can record here and look now it will just be it will just be the desktop sounds without me speaking. So if I just play from here and just show you. Now that I'm Now, essentially, what I can do is the opposite as well. Let's say I said something cool in the microphone and I was like, damn, that was really cool. I don't want the game sounds there and I want to maybe steal that microphone uh, clip that I said because maybe I was spitting gold. It was like I did a little rap or something. I don't know. Who knows? I said something great and I didn't want the background audio because it was like SpongeBob SquarePants playing in the background and it was copyright and it was going to be a problem and I didn't want it there. I can essentially just delete the sound from the game or the background that was playing and I can just listen to my voice like this over here. As This is the recording that 
that I'm about to play. That your sound from the game isn't recorded the same time your microphone is recorded, so that you can record them on separate tracks and edit them separately. In See, there you go. There was no music playing during that track over there, but obviously when we had it normally, you'll see there was music playing the entire time. Entirely so that your sound from the game isn't recorded the same time your microphone and that is how you record into two separate audio tracks with OBS. I hope this video was helpful. If you do have any problems, let me know in the comments below. And if you do have any future requests for different ideas within OBS or you want to learn something about OBS, let me know. I'm willing to make a video on it, a tutorial on it. So thank you for watching this video.